Hello everyone, my name is Cubic, and uh, we're going to be doing another video on uh, voice options in 5M today. Um, I've had a number of questions through um, my DMs and through through Discord recently about uh, Toko VoIP and similar things like that. Toko VoIP is pretty much old now, um, and there's quite a lot of new uh, software or mods, if you want to call it. Uh, which has kind of taken over the market as such. Uh, one of which is PMA Voice, which we're going to be covering today. Um, and then there's also a couple of add-ons that PMA also offers. For example, PMA Phone and PMA uh, Radio. So those are pretty cool. So um, we're going to be covering PMA uh, Voice today. Uh, and then I'll do a separate video on the radio system uh, because there's a couple of add-ons that you can purchase as well. Um, which makes the user interface a little bit better, in my opinion. So, um, again, I'll leave all the links down in the description below, uh, but what you're gonna want to do is load up PMA's uh, GitHub page, uh, and then download the, the releases, for it, the most up-to-date releases version. The config for it is all on that page, so don't go closing it. Uh, make sure to have a read, for, read of this. You don't need to be technically minded, um, there to understand a lot of this. Um, for example, like um, I recently got asked about like the exports and stuff. Um, you don't need to know this. Um, it's just more of if you're looking to obviously embed it within a script that you already have. Um, but to be fair, the the config file is pretty much self-explanatory. Um, so yeah. So once we've got that downloaded, you're going to want to open up the zip folder which is opened up on a different screen, um, and then open up PMA Voice. And that is the resource. It looks a lot, but it works correctly. So what you'll need to do is open up the FX server folder, go into the TX data, go into your server, go into resources. Um, and what we're gonna do is, just because I'm gonna create a couple of videos on this, I'm gonna put this in a subdirectory called Voice. Once you're in there, um, you can either Extract to, I'm just going to copy that, and then extract. But one thing it hasn't done is put it into a folder. So I'm going to create a folder called PMA Voice and put all of the files in there. Make sure to call it PMA Dash Voice. There are some um, there are some restrictions uh, for other mods that will look for dependencies. Uh, and obviously if you call that, I don't know, your server dash voice or voice platform or whatever, uh, those dependencies may not work with that. So um, there's a couple of extra steps that we have to do as well. Um, so if you are running a vMenu server, uh, you want to make sure to turn off the vMenu voice. Uh, vMenu has its own uh, VoIP system plugged in. So we're, we're gonna go and turn that off for now. So we're gonna open up the permissions file um, and then at the bottom, it, you've got the voice chat options. So all you're gonna do is put a hashtag in front of all of that. Now, one thing to remember, um, in previous videos, I have um, told you guys it's a little bit easier to use the vmenu.everyone uh, permission, which, dot everything, sorry. Um, but luckily, on my last video, I turned that off. Now, if you have this turned on, the voice platform, although that you've commented it out, it will still work. So make sure that you go through and actually edit your permissions to how you want it. So now we've got it commented out, we're gonna close that. So vmenu is now done. So you now need to go to the server.cfg file. Um, and like before, we're gonna ensure the resource. So we're going to ensure the folder that's called voice um, simply because I'm going to be putting a couple of extra resources in there. Now, going back to the config file, so we've got a couple of different options here. Now, the one I'm going to be using is the native audio. The reason for that uh, is because you get 3D sound effects echoing uh, when people talk. If you use the 2D voice, it will just sound the same as what vMenu is. If you use 3D audio, I, to be fair, I've never seen it fully work. Um, so I've always used native audio. Um, 
and also we're going to set the sending range only to true as well um, because I only want to be able to hear people uh, that's within a certain radius of me. As they walk away, I want them to get quieter. So all you'll need to do is, un so in the server.cfg, don't edit any of the actual files here unless you absolutely need to. But what we're going to do is we're going to set R and then we're going to do voice underscore use native audio and then we're going to put space and then true. So that's going to activate that. Then we're going to be using the send range only. So we're going to be using set R again and then voice underscore use and, and then sending range only and then true. And then lastly, we're going to turn on the, then you've got a couple of more options. Um, I'm going to turn on the radio animation. So there are a couple of cool things in here um, in regards to phone numbers and proxy cycles, stuff like that. The one I'm going to do is enable the animation. So when someone goes to use the radio, um, this will be covered in a different video because you will need the PMA radio. So you don't need the voice, the radio animation at the moment, but um, I'm going to put it in just for future reference. So when someone uh, clicks their mic, their hand will raise up to their shoulder in game. So it actually looks like you're using the radio. So to enable that, we're going to do set R and then voice enable radio animation, which stands for animation and then one. And that's about it. So now what we're going to do is we're going to close out of that. We're going to go start our server, head into game, and I'll show you what it looks like. Okay, so now we're loading in. Um, you'll see something new on your screen. Um, it, you might not notice it straight away. Um, so once you're actually in game, um, if you use the F1 or uh, the M button to open up vMenu, you'll see that voice options has now disappeared from your screen. If you still see voice options, then that basically means that you haven't actually done the config file, the permissions config file correctly. So you go back and just make sure you've hashtagged all of that out. Now in the bottom right hand corner, um, you will see that it now says uh, normal range. So if you hold down N, it will light up because now you're talking. Um, and the default Default uh, changing of it is F11. So now we're on shouting. Now you're on whisper and back to normal. There are a couple of extra ranges you can install or can configure onto the server, um, but I'm not gonna cover that in today's video. That's just showing you how to get PMA set up. Make sure to have a couple of friends come and join the lobby um, and make sure that they can actually hear you. If you do have any other issues or need any assistance getting that set up, of course, at all times, or it's my Discord, uh, my development Discord in the description. Feel free to join it and we'll be able to assist you where needed. Apart from that, that's all about it. Have a great day.